This morning, we are on verdict watch again. A day after a verdict is reached in the Marathon bombings trial, jurors in the Aaron Hernandez case returned to deliberations this morning. That's right. And I'm News News reporter Madeline Wright is following the story now live from the southeastern Massachusetts mobile newsroom. Madeline. Danielle, here at Fall River Superior Court, a verdict could come down any day now. We don't know exactly when. What we do know is that the jury asked the judge yesterday to clarify two weapon and ammunition charges that Hernandez faces, along with his murder charge. They also asked for a list of all the pieces of physical evidence in the case, which is in the hundreds. As we reported, the defense made a surprise admission in closing arguments, saying Hernandez was at the murder scene. We asked our legal analyst, Robert Carrenti, whether that could could be throwing the jury for a loop. Well, you could you could say that, but you could also see it the other way. You could say, well, now that they have admitted that he was there, now the jury doesn't have to spend a long time wrestling with with that issue, and they can kind of move on to something else. Coming up in 30 minutes, we'll focus on the jury's request for the list of evidence and ask our legal analyst why they wanted to see it. Live in Fall River with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News. And you can count on Eyewitness News to bring you the verdict as soon as we get word one has been reached. We'll bring you live coverage on Eyewitness News. Plus, you can count on our WPRI.com app for your smartphone to alert you when the verdict is announced.